Hi everyone, this is Mindy for Honeybee Stamps and today's video I have a very clean and simple card for you but we're going to change up some colors. So instead of our traditional holiday colors, we're going to throw something else in there to make it a little more fun and festive. Now the reason this is clean and simple is because, well, that clock is starting to tick on getting my Christmas cards out this year. So I'm starting out my card. I used the Layering Snowflakes die set and I cut three well, actually six snowflakes, but I'm going to have three groupings of them in a variety of colors. So I have a light red, a dark red, a light pink, a dark pink, and then kind of this grapefruit color. I'm going to have them clustered around a sentiment, and the sentiment I'm using is from the Foil Script Holiday Set. It's a hot foil plate and coordinating die. So I'm trimming down some foil. I believe this is polished brass. I'm going to put this on some hammer mill cardstock. So I put my foil so the pretty side faces up, my foil plate so it's facing down, and then I tape all of that to the cardstock. Now off screen, I went ahead and foiled it and ran it through my die cut machine to get that foil into the paper. And then I used the coordinating die to die cut that out because I love, love, love that Honeybee Stamps includes those coordinating die cuts. So now that I have my sentiment done, I'm just taking each of the small snowflakes and I'm attaching them to the larger one by just putting a dot of glue in the center. So my snowflakes are ready. And now I have a panel that I trimmed it down. I think it's about three and a quarter by four and a half, which um, it's a thin cardstock. So I put two pieces of cardstock together and then added foam tape to the back. I try to do at least two pieces of cardstock because otherwise my foam strips show through. So now I'm attaching that to some cream cardstock and I'm going to add some small foam squares just to the center of my snowflakes. Now I'm just kind of using my sentiment as a placeholder. I put down the red one and now my pink one, I didn't use my sentiment as a placeholder and it's actually a little bit too high for me but I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to go ahead and attach this kind of uh, grapefruit colored set of snowflakes down in the corner. And this is where I'm noticing that pink snowflake is just a little too high. So I'm going to carefully peel up that foam and then just readjust that so it's grouped a little closer to the red snowflake. I want to place my sentiment in the center there. So I'm just going to trim down some foam squares and I'm only going to apply this to the back of where they are not overlapping the snowflake. So any part of my sentiment that doesn't overlap the snowflake is where I put those foam squares. I'm gonna bring in some warm pearls and attach them to the center of my snowflake. And then I'll remove the backing of those foam strips from my sentiment. And I swear this probably took me about 10 minutes to figure out because I really wanted to have even margins on each side. So I based that off of the word happy and then I could attach that down to the front of the cardstock. So like I said, quick, simple, clean and simple, however you want to refer to it. But if you need a quick holiday card, this is definitely one for it, especially if you foil a bunch of sentiments ahead of time and just have them handy and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed today's card project using those non-traditional colors. Thanks for stopping by and see you again soon.